with the inception of social media these days, there has been lots of news flying over it, a lot of information to digest, the genuine ones, fake ones, make-believe ones. So the thing is this, before you believe any story that you find on social media, make sure you confirm it, or better still verify through two or more sources. Recently, there has been rumors on social media that the marriage between Oni of Ife Oba Adeyeyi Enitan Ogunwosi and Prophetess Naomi Uluwachei has hit the rocks. However, she used her Instagram page to make a post saying that it's all rumors and she debunked it. Hi guys, you're watching M Chiki Series. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for your support. I quite appreciate that. If you are new to this channel, thank you for clicking on this button and sit back while we get on with the gist. So rumors have it that Oni of Ife's marriage to Prophetess Naomi Uluwashei has crashed allegedly. And if you have been following Nigerian social media space, you know that Oni got married to this prophetess in 2018. And when they had this marriage, the social media went agog. It went into fire. And before he even married this lady, he has had two failed marriages, which is part of the reason why people were surprised that he got entangled with a prophetess. And moreover, Oni of Ife, being one of the highest ranked Oba in the entire Yoruba nation, custodian of culture and tradition in Yoruba land, people were still surprised how he would be able to navigate his journey of life with the prophetess. However, this has been a smooth sell for him. So before I go into all that, I would like to set the background. Oba Adeyeye Enitan Ogunwosi Ojeja II is a traditional ruler of Ile Ife in Osho State. He was crowned in 2015 out of 21 contenders of Oni's two. All Oni are traced back to Oduduwa in their lineage of succession. His Imperial Majesty is the 51 Oni of Ife. He was born on 17th of May, 1974. He attended Sobula Memorial Nursery Primary School and Loyola College, all in Ibado, Oyo State. He proceeded to Polytechnic Ibado for Higher National Diploma, HND in Accounting, after which he ventured into entrepreneurship and became very successful. His Imperial Majesty is an advocate of peace and woman empowerment. When it comes to relationships and marriages, it has not been easy for him. He has been married for three times now and he has got two failed marriages and no child was produced by those women. But prior to these marriages, he was involved in a relationship with Omolara Olatubosin, which produced his first and only daughter for now, Adiola they had her when Oni was a teenager, barely 19 years, in May 1994, and they seemed to be very close. In 2008, he married Adebukola Bombata, from whom he separated in 2015 after he received the crown. But they were married before he was crowned Oni of Ife. Rumors added that the lady could not give birth to a child, that was why she left the marriage, allegedly. However, there is another storyline that said that the lady got into fight with the husband allegedly and slapped him in front of the father and that was not acceptable. Hence, marriage packed up and she moved on. According to the report, she never sticked around after the coronation. She flew to United Kingdom straight away after the ceremony. In 2016, he married Zainab Otiti Obano from Bini City in Edo State. The marriage is said to have been arranged by the oracle and they had a very flamboyant wedding graced by dignitaries and royals and in 2017 the marriage crashed he hit the rocks due to alleged infidelity however zainab took to her instagram page to debunk the rumors denied all allegations against her and she also hinted that domestic violence could be responsible for the separation Apparently, people tend to come up with this allegation against Zena because before the marriage, there has been a series of allegations trailing her name, ranging from her being married to former Jigawa state governor, Saminu Turaki, allegedly, and she getting pregnant for him, while Turaki was battling with impotency, you know what that means, and later giving birth to twins who died at birth. Having love affair with former deputy senate majority leader, Abdul Ningi, allegedly, and the love affair crashed over infidelity, allegedly, and to her being married to this Lebanese Bologna guy known as Eli Corey in 2015, and as July 2015, they were still together, before her getting married to Oni in March 2016. And when the news hit the internet, internet was on fire. A lot of people were commenting, thinking the marriage will not happen, but eventually the marriage took place, and after barely some months, the marriage crashed, and two of them moved on, Zainab moved out of the palace. She now made it official through her Insta Instagram post that she's no longer together with the Oni of Ife. Then Oni of Ife 
moved on to marry Prophetess Naomi Morenike Oluwashe, the founder and the president of Enharads, an interdenominational ministry based in Akure, Ondo State. When the news of their marriage hit the internet in October 2018, it was really the talk of the time because it set the internet agog not only that there were heavy criticism from the public because of her position as a prophetess some people believe that as a prophetess that she shouldn't have married somebody who is a traditionalist like Oni of Ife but surprisingly even with the marriage she's still doing well in her ministry and also despite all the scrutinies from people about how the marriage will hit the rocks in no distant time she is still waxing strong, but I thought people would have rested by now. After all said and done, the lady is still there and Oni seems to be very happy with her because he has been very supportive. He joined her in her ministry to go for church activities. So I don't know what the people, what the problem of the people is by coming to say that the marriage has broken. And truly that got to her. This rumor got to her because she made a post on her Instagram trying to explain things and set the record straight. So she went for that to write that there has been strange rumors and unfounded news making rounds on social media this recent time. But she wants all the believers of good news to know that it is all lies and the picture of how the peddlers of the evil news would have loved their story, their love story to turn out. But unfortunately, it never turned out that way. That she would have loved to maintain her silence, but due to concerns being expressed by well-meaning people she had to say something and now the gospel truth is that she has been busy with ministry of social media space and even with this pandemic more work has come up so she had to do something she can't just sit around and she has been in and out of the palace for people saying that she's no longer in the palace that she's still there and she wants people before they believe the news they have to verify it and why is it that people believe more in falsehood and negativity she went further to say that the public should disregard and jettison any fake news about her and her husband because they are hell and hearty and for their love there is no earthly force that can break it. She believes that part of the problem is this quarantine period because people have a lot of time in their hands to be writing all sorts of things and she went further to say that please be comforted and know that boredom is a killer and people do unimaginable things when they are bored and as usual Nigerians came for her they left their comments for her good ones bad ones ugly ones so i picked the ones that stand out to me and this person wrote i saw her last week she is pregnant to the extent that her pregnancy is very obvious so bad belly <laughs> actually there have been some videos of her on social media showing her with baby bump so if actually she's pregnant there is need for her to limit public appearances for her safety and the baby's sake and this person wrote is there any king that's not initiated into one thing or the other in a traditional setting your eyes open and you they see no means say you be real prophetess if truly you are you foresee properly not to have married such a strong king that will always bow to fetish practice to please his god in bracket ancestors kings are half spirit this person has consigned of her being prophetess and married to a traditional ruler which is concerned also lots of people had that time but i don't know if people are still having that in their mind then this person wrote there is no smoke without fire Confess, Nomi, are you happy then? Those three witches can never allow you to enjoy your home. The earlier you leave, the better. I know the Ogun will see very well they are evil. So I think this person is talking about to own his uh, three sisters because people believe that they have hands in own his uh, failed marriages, allegedly. Then this last person is talking about Naomi, own his wife. The person wrote, you better stop lying because you are no more functioning in the palace. You are at the chalet with your shameless mother and the truth cannot be hiding. We all knew you had a baby before you married the Oni. A disgrace to your barris, changing wife like clothes. As for you Oni, you better return to the mother of your only daughter because that throne doesn't belong to you. You took it by force. Really? This is the first time I'm hearing this. And these are very big allegations and accusations leveled against these people. I hope they're able to come out of this and nothing happens to their marriage. It seems like that some people are out to destroy them because what I saw in the report is that she began her public ministry at age 18, which made her not to continue with her education. So I'm wondering the time she got married, come out of marriage and now enter her ministry, but I don't know. Time will tell, it's just a developing story. However, I've seen a lot of videos on this. Even some of them challenging Oba to take them to court. I mean, only of Ife to take them to court and all that. So I don't know how truthful it is. Fingers crossed for now. I will keep you guys updated. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you think the stories are true? Or do you think um, 
something is fishy there is something that is happening that we don't know or i don't know i'm gonna sign off here stay healthy and safe remember to share this video with family and friends if you love it and subscribe to my channel if you've not done already and i'm gonna catch you in my next video bye